welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got the puppet over here. So you might have been involved in a relationship where you have been manipulated quite a bit and somebody's been pulling your strings, you know, and um, maybe they know how to press your buttons to to get you upset or, or you know, to make you do things that you don't really want to do. You've got the seven of... Um, um, the seven year rather and sevens are about having a lot of choices and a lot of options uh, you know it's also about dealing with people that are very deceptive so this could be this kind of person uh, dealing with people who are very sneaky or have uh, hidden agendas uh, ulterior motives so you need to make some kind of choice uh, some kind of decision uh, in order for you to move away you might be doing thinking of doing some traveling as well or you might have been doing some traveling uh, so that is uh, coming for you or you are, have been doing that recently so maybe going out uh, maybe even taking a bit of a holiday a little bit of a break as well with that balloon over there now in the past you've got the moon card over here so being a bit uh, depressed upset uh, maybe a bit confused about what to do next not seeing things very uh, clearly you have been focusing a lot on your career and it looks like it's been generating a lot of finances recently now going into the future you've got the shell card over here so this might be you know uh uh, trying to find a new home or uh, you know trying to move on to something different um, and um, this could even be taking a holiday with that child card you know doing something that's fun or, or even spending some time closer to the water or closer to the sea you are still also dealing with somebody who's pretty much uh, a bit of a sneak with this monkey card over here uh, somebody who's a bit of a trickster so just be uh, a bit careful about uh, who you're trusting uh, at this particular moment so those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to use the Golden Dawn Tarot for the main read. Okay, so you've got uh, the Justice card over here, so you might be sorting through some legal issues at this particular moment and maybe waiting for some kind of legal decision to come through over here. You're also trying to find some balance again in your life and maybe you're dealing with um, you know, official issues or uh, you know, legal papers or documents as well with that Justice card. So make sure you're reading the fine print very carefully um, and uh, you know, keeping everything above board as well. So there's some kind of legal decision coming in or legal decision pending at this particular moment this could be a divorce or a separation that you have gone through now you're starting afresh as soon as this legal decision comes through you will be starting afresh you've got the full a new cycle coming in for you also a lot of support from somebody around you who is a very loyal as well and you've got new roses coming up over here so a new phase of your life beginning over there you've overcome a lot of obstacles and you've had to uh, you know sort through a lot of problems you could have been dealing with a leo uh, or um, you know any kind of fire signed uh, person but it looks like you know you're getting your um uh, getting things sorted out and you're overcoming any kind of problems any difficulties are now moving away into the background and you will be able to um, you know overcome these obstacles or overcome these problems so you're taking control of your life again so in the past you got the nine of cups and it looks like there has been some blessings coming in for you over there and uh, you know abundance has been coming in for you and it's 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 coming in uh, from a, the divine because you've got all these raindrops coming in so it's almost like a relief after going through a, a period of drought in your life so there's also new relationships that have come in as well this is the card of satisfaction it's like some kind of wish has been fulfilled so you've got the Hierophant card in the past few months. You've made a commitment to something brand new. You've changed a lot of the way you look at things and the way you view things. Your spiritual um, ideas have changed quite dramatically as well with that Hierophant. So it's been out with the old and something brand new has been coming in for you. Now you've got the Two of Swords over here. So this is about you, uh, you know, reaching some kind of crossroads in your life, trying to make a decision. Uh, you know, there has been that legal uh, decision pending. Maybe that's what you're waiting for here. And in order for you to move on, uh, this decision needs to be made. So this has been a, a period of 
uh, a lot of confusion because you've got that full moon in the background over there. And maybe you've been communicating with a lot of people over there, um, but you've been waiting for things to happen and, uh, you know, maybe sitting and doing a lot of thinking about how you can move forward. So going to the future, you've got the Two of Pentacles. So there's going to be a choice that you need to make about how you want to invest uh, in the future. Uh, so it looks like you might be focusing a lot more on your on your um, career. You you seem to be weighing your options as well with that Two of Pentacles and focused a lot on your personal wealth and focused upon your security as well. So the Wheel of Fortune is coming in for you. You are still dealing with some rather sneaky energy. You've got this monkey sitting over there who's a bit of a trickster. Uh, but the Wheel of Fortune coming in to change things for you and ending cycles uh, that have been. Uh, you've got that Knight of Swords over here. So that decision, that legal decision that you're waiting for uh, is going to be coming in. And uh, it's going to be coming in with that Knight of Swords. So something coming in uh, and, uh, you know, the uh, the decision is going to be made. And also moving on, leaving things behind and moving on once that legal decision has been made. So you are still dealing with this energy uh, of the devil and you're a bit worried about that. You've got the devil card over here, which is about uh, generally Capricorn energy that you might be dealing with. Maybe they're still trying to control you from a distance and you don't really want to be manipulated by this energy. This may not be a Capricorn. This might be just somebody that, you know, that relationship is still uh, very toxic. It's still, there's still a little element of codependency going on over there and you're worried about, you know, trying to sever ties with this person completely. So, you know, they might be still caught causing a lot of issues as well for you. So going into the future, you've got the Sun card over there and you've got uh, the Hermit as well as the Universe uh, coming in over there. So it looks like with the Sun card over there, something brand new starting in, there might be a new relationship that comes in for you as well uh, and, you know, an end of all that confusion that you have been going through. Um, as well. That Hermit card shows that you are going to be very, very focused more on your career, on your work, and, uh, you know, a lot of truth also coming to light over there. And then you've got the World card. So this particular relationship has now come to an end. There's ending of old cycles over there, and something brand new will start for you. So you're putting a rest uh, to anything that you have been going through, and you are ending old cycles and moving on. And you're just waiting for that legal decision, uh, you know, to come through so that you can get some kind of um, direction probably in your life. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Guardian Angel Tarot. And the first card is about letting go. And it says releasing the past uh, so that you can... Um, releasing the past can seem like a challenge, but it can also be liberating. Your angels will help you let go so that you can fly higher than ever before. Endings always herald new beginnings. Choose to allow the situation to lead you to a more joyful life. Change your life by changing your thoughts. So you need to keep a positive attitude and you need to let go of that past so that you can bring in the new. And the second card is the Four of Abundance, which says it's time to reflect upon your relationship with money. Are you spending too freely or are you holding back too tightly? Um, it can also relate to how you give yourself to others. Is your heart open or are you holding back? So with this Four of uh, uh, abundance, which is the Four of Pentacles. There is a lot of financial stability. There's a lot of security coming in for you, uh, but also you need to find that balance as well in your life. And the last card, it says, choose freedom, which is sometimes you may feel as though your way is blocked, but often it is just an illusion. You can free yourself from the obstacles that you are so focused on by choosing a different path. So turn your thoughts away from negativity and instead envision endless other possibilities you can act upon. So uh, a new change coming in for you, you need to make a decision and you need to be free of the situation. You do need to sever ties with this particular situation and you do need to start afresh with that full card over there. Uh, so something brand new coming in. Let go of that past. End that cycle completely because the Wheel of Fortune also is coming in to end that cycle for you. And once that happens, uh, once you let go of the past, then the new can begin and you can start afresh and uh, bring in a uh, manifest that happiness back into your life again. So I hope this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.